everybody. <clears throat> all right, it's Saturday. I have been gone all morning. <laughs> it's now 1.30, so I didn't get to do as much as I wanted. But this video is going to be hauls and happy mails, because the past two days I got happy mails. Totally unexpected and very lovely. And I went to, I got some stuff today at um, some stores. So in the morning, I went to, um, I had breakfast out with a friend, and then I went and decided to go to an estate sale that I wanted to go to yesterday, but I didn't have the time. And it was a, a vintage estate sale. And um, I'm glad I went today because everything, I got everything half off. So for this pile, I only paid $7. So I want to show you, and there was so much to choose from, and this is some of what I was looking for. I was so happy. But I got some nylon thread, so I was super happy about that because I do use that. And I got some great thick needles. So those were two good buys I'm very happy about. And I got some embroidery floss. Okay, so those two things were 25 cents each um, and half of that, so 12 cents each. Same here, like 12 cents for each bag. And I did need some floss, so I was happy about that. Now these, I paid, like I said, I paid a total of $7, so everything was half off. But I want to show you each one because they're beautiful, and I'm going to use them for my journals. Aren't they lovely? In fact, this would make a gorgeous wraparound for um, the cover of a journal. Okay, and then maybe I'll start here at the bottom. Look at this. I got two of these, but look at how wonderful this will be for journaling, for the journals, because look at these little, I mean, perfect, just perfect. And like I said, there were two of those and these were only a dollar each, so 50 cents. This one's even longer, same thing, but longer. So I thought, man, that was an amazing find. I'm super happy about finding these. This one, I think this was a $2 one, but look how pretty this is. <clears throat> Cause all the way you have all this design and the scallop, and it's just gorgeous and really long. It's like three feet, a yard. It's like a yard long. So that was super fine. And then all these doilies were 50 cents each, a dollar, but then 50 cents because that's all I had to pay. Look, I mean, my goodness can't even believe how beautiful these are. And here's another one. So I'm pretty sure this woman did this work. That would be my guess. And this one. And this one. I love these. They are so pretty. Oh my goodness. I wish I knew how old they were. Like where they knew were older. Now this was made in China. Cotton made in China. But look at how pretty it is. And it's already like it's stained, so it's just beautiful. Like what a find, seriously. Then I went to Salvation Army and I only found one thing, but I wanted I got and actually this was on sale, so I only paid like 80 cents for this. But I wanted um, this type of material. Look at how thin it is. And it's a good, it's a nice, big, big, long piece, like probably four feet long and almost two feet wide, so, or 18 inches maybe. But yeah, really a good piece. So I was super happy about that. And then I went to, um, I went to Ark Value Village and I needed, I was looking for a cookbook so that I could get this, these two pieces for my book because the one I had in here broke. 
was all shattered. So I wanted, for my cookbook, I wanted that. So I got the two pieces, and all I saved from that cookbook besides that was these. Because it was from the 80s or something. So I just saved these um, dividers because they were in really good shape. The binder was wrecked, like really wrecked and broken-ish. So that wasn't even worth keeping. I got this beautiful book, The Road of the Tinkling Bell, Paintings, Poems, and Essays by Tomohiro Hoshino. And I'm going to take off this paper here because I don't need this. I think I'll just save a little piece of it for my, um, to put in my journal. It talks about the bell. It's really kind of cute, actually. So I'll save that. And just look at how pretty this is inside. I got it for these, the pictures. And, you know, the other stuff. The poems are good, too. But, yeah, I loved the artwork. So pretty. So I wanted to have that and use that. All this stuff is for journaling. Then I have got this card. Isn't this cute? And that pink stuff was 50% or was the yellow? Something. This was on sale anyway. And this is called um, From the Lilac Fairy Book by Henry J. Ford. And um, I just love the picture. It's a mer like, it's a... Uh, it's kind of like a sea thing. There's all these sea animals in here. So I thought that was super pretty. And so I thought, I'm just going to get it. And then I found this. And I thought, I want this for ephemera. for Just for ephemera. This whole piece. Because it's it really is vintage. And I don't know where it was. Uh, made in West Germany. And packaged by William Pyre. Prime Ink in Dayvale, Connecticut. But I just liked it a lot. And I thought it would be such a perfect piece of ephemera that I had to have it. <laughs> so yeah, the card was printed in the U.S. So I wonder if these little, these things were made in Germany. I don't know. But kind of cool, don't you think? I thought that was a fun little find. So that's what I got there. I went to Kohl's and I got a couple Vera Wang shirts. And look, I got the garment pin. They had garment pins on the shirts. I was kind of happy. Now, if you <laughs> junk journalers know, like, garment pins are like, ooh, big deal. They are a big deal. <laughs> so, I know, that's kind of funny. But, yeah. So, let me move this stuff. I have things everywhere. My room craft room is a disaster because I have been busy getting things, working on a junk journal, and I my room is a mess. But my table, my desk is clear right now. So I want to show some things I got. First off, a couple days ago, I got a happy mail from my friend Kim. And I want to show you what she sent me. She's such a sweetheart. Such a sweetheart. But she sends me all kinds of things. Here's, look at this beautiful card. Oh my goodness, I love this card so much. And she just sent me a sweet note that she had these things and she wanted to share them with me. And, um some stamps that she got and discovered she already had them when she got home, so she thought she'd send them to me, which I absolutely love them. And she said, I wish we lived closer to each other. I said, I totally wish we lived closer to each other because like she says, I'm sure we could just chat for hours. <laughs> she must have remembered how much I love Pusheen. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love Pusheen. Look at all this Pusheen stuff. <laughs> It's so cute. <laughs> I can't help it. Pusheen's the best. It's just cute. Oh, it's like a little postcard thing. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. And look, a little Pusheen envelope. <laughs> oh my goodness. And a little um, napkin. So cute. <laughs> 
And then look here, look at this beautiful stained doily. Very, very pretty. And owls, my love of owls. So cute, I have to use those. And then she sent me some camping things from her flow book, which I was really happy about. We're going camping next weekend. So look at these great camping papers. Aren't these fantastic? I don't know if I'm going to use it next weekend. I think I'll save it for vacation because we're doing a camping um, vacation. So I can totally um, use it for, my, for our vacation. And look at these. I love these kind of stamps, but look. Isn't that adorable? Monica and Mud Pie. These, she sent me some other stamps with these little mice, and they are so dang cute. I love them. So thank you so much. Can't wait to use those. Okay, so there was that. Let me put it somewhere safe for the moment. This is a nice envelope. I'm going to save that. Then my friend Mona sent me a package. Um, Mona it lives in Germany, and she's such a generous soul, such a sweetheart. And she just, I just love getting surprises from her. And I can't, I you know, I don't, I don't think I surprise her half as much as she surprises me all the time with all her lovely stuff. So, let's see, and I want to cut out part of this envelope because I always love to put this stuff in my um, as part of my Happy Meals. So all I did is I took this part, because that's the part I liked, and you just peel off that bubble stuff from the inside of the package and you have ephemera which is wonderful all right so let's see and then she sent always sends everything in these fantastic um ziploc bags and i love these ziploc bags we don't have ones our ziploc bags aren't this shape which is why i really like hers a lot the tape off so I don't end up tearing it because I like these and I don't want to tear them. So we'll just get this tape off and there must be another one. Yeah, there it is. Don't want to put holes in it. And here's another one. <laughs> okay, there we go. You guys know the packaging, the unwrapping of stuff is important. Oh my. <clears throat> so yeah, I always save these bags. Always, always. So let's see, I don't even know where to start. Well, let's look at this stuff first. She sent me some things she cut out, which I always love. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is, oh my gosh. I think I have to put this in my junk journal. My nature one that I'm doing. I'm pulling that out. Oh, I love this. I need to remember to send people, like, in different countries, magazine, clippings from magazines here, because they're different. Ooh. Better an oops than a what if. I totally agree. Spinach pancakes. Citrus salad. Ooh, isn't that beautiful? Nice. So cool. Okay. I gotta put that other one away. S aside. Because. <laughs> Alright. And then let's open this. And see what's in here. And actually I should do, I'm gonna have to do some of this. Oh my goodness, it's a little pocket thing, isn't it? <gasps> it's so adorable. I hardly know where to start. Let's start here. Look at how cute this is. Oh my gosh. A card. 
And another card for journaling. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. I might have to slip this into my nature journal, too. That's way too cute. Okay. <laughs> oh, and a beautiful napkin. I will add that to my napkin collection. I've been getting some nice napkins. And look at this. Look at this. Wow. This is in German. Oh. Maybe I should put that in my nature journal, too. Like a backdrop. Like I could put this picture off. I don't know. Oh, man. That's beautiful. And look at this card to me. Ah, oh, so sweet. She's so sweet. Oh my gosh. Okay, that goes in my journal. And in here we have another journal card. And look at these cute stickers. Oh my gosh. I can put some of those in my journal too. I'll come back and like go through this. But this is the most adorable thing I have ever seen. Look at the little bike die cuts. This is the cutest thing, seriously. And then I have, she has some stickers, a swan with holding a key, a monkey and a whale holding a key, an owl, <laughs> and a little, oh my gosh, a swan with a little house and a snail. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, one of these is going in my junk journal, and I'm going to have to put some up in my other journal. Oh, tickets. Love it. Love it. I don't have any of those things. Oh, my gosh. This is so cute. So cute. And in this one, a lovely pieces of paper and a beautiful green marbled and a lovely doily and a pretty mint green this is love is beautiful blend of tea. oh it's a tea ooh ooh i'm gonna have to try that ah oh, it's blend of teas something i don't know and yellow fruits Wow, cool. That has to stay out because I have to like try that. <laughs> and in here, oh, this is the cutest thing you made. Enjoy the little things. Here's a journaling card. Here we have some, oh, a little tea dyed envelope. And it's so cute. <gasps> Look at this. Oh my goodness. These I'm gonna put in my journal. And this is going in my nature journal. So we'll take that over here. And then I've got, oh, this is pretty, beautiful. And then look at this one, just go. <laughs> oh, this is bare. this is good. This is really good. Oh, what an adorable thing this is. It's so, so cute. This would be a good thing to put some ephemera in to take, or actually, this would, I'm taking this out just for now. This would actually be perfect to put in a traveler's notebook and put stuff in it. Mm. Lots of ideas popping around this head of mine, guys. Okay, that's, that's it. Um, yeah, really great. Really good day. I've had a good day. So I have a lot more videos today. I have a collage journal to do for my design team. Um, I have to do my catch up on my daily journaling. I hope to do a flip through of my nature journal, which I'm almost done with, and I will be finishing that soon. And um, I need to, what else? Tomorrow I'll do, try and do a Bible journaling video. 
and I have to make, um, I'm supposed to be making a traveler's junk journal, traveler's notebook insert for somebody. So yeah, I got a lot to do today and I already have used half the day. <laughs> so we'll just see how all that goes. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you're having a great weekend. Bye.